very small but very tough and very fast. Completely free range, introduced almost 50 years ago, and I'm gonna be going after that non-traditional animal with a non-traditional firearm. Me, I'm gonna stick to my guns, going traditional bolt action. This week, my weapon of choice is a Remington Model 7 in 7mm odd 8. This is a very lightweight rifle. This rifle is a stainless steel barrel. Remington's put a composite stock on it. It has a fully adjustable trigger. It's built on a short action to help also keep the weight down. The nice thing is, it has a hinged floor plate and a magazine capable of carrying five rounds plus one in the chamber. Now this week I've topped it with a Leupold Very X2 and two to seven power with a duplex crosshair. So I won't have time to mess with turrets on these black buck. We're gonna try to get in close, shoot them off the sticks, be quick, efficient, but one shot in the box. My AR this week is really, really trick. The Seekin Precision has a lot of features and benefits on it that is really in a very adaptable gun. Now it's chambered in the 223 round instead of the 308. It has very little recoil due to the muzzle brake that's created on the stainless steel barrel. That front forearm really keeps the heat off of my hand and allows me to stabilize the gun out front and that Picatinny rail allows me to put a lot of accessories on top of it. It has an adjustable full length on the back of it that I completely lock in place and a spot for my extra lunch money where I can go ahead and pop that in there or some earplugs while I'm out hunting. Really, really cool. Now, just like many AR platforms, it also has a three position safe. I can add a five to 50 box magazine. It comes in really handy when I'm out at the range. As fast as I can pull the trigger, I make them leave the barrel. Now, the whole industry is completely changing with the black guns or the AR platform. And to adapt to that, Nikon built a brand new technology into a scope chambered in 223 round also a scope that's designed for that it's a digital laser rangefinder i basically push the button it gives me the range at the top and then that special technology that's changed the shooting industry the bdc reticle it has a series of circles down the middle of the reticle post all the way out to 700 yards now i wouldn't be shooting a black buck out to 700 but definitely out to 250 or 300 and it gives me that capability that's ballistically correct down the reticle post, extremely accurate and a lot of fun to shoot. Well, it's official. This is the smallest hunting bullet that I've ever hunted with, but it's no slouch. It's a 223 round and it's got a 55 grain soft point, which is a really good hunting bullet. And it's coming out of the muzzle velocity at 3250. So it's pretty speedy. It's a pretty speedy little cartridge. Don't ever underestimate the small stuff. He always jokes about the girls under 12. Well, girls, you got an advantage with that one? He has a 30 round magazine. This week, I'm shooting a 7mm Mod 8 with a 140 grain ballistic silver tip. That bullet's coming out of the barrel right at 2770. Got a good ballistic coefficient right at 0.454. Should develop about 2300 foot pounds of energy. Perfect for a little black buck animal. I only have one question for you, Ray. Are you compensating bullet size over your height or Just what? Just remember one shot, one kill. And normally when we think of North American hunting, we've basically 29 species that are huntable that go into the record book. And in SCI, there's also North America introduced. These are some of the animals that have been transplanted from all over the world that now are in free range form that you can hunt legally here in the state of Texas. There's lots of game to hunt here in Texas. If you like chasing free range game, they've got odd hogs, white-tailed deer, black buck. There's no shortage. Bring lots of bullets. Give yourself about a week or so. Have a great time. are an antelope that are very, very beautiful. When these rams get mature, they're pitch black with a white belly. They have a spiral type horn. They're just a beautiful antelope. We just got into camp and I figured why waste an afternoon? The 708 sided in. So let's go find us a big black buck. Let's go see what we can right. find. You know, my goal this week is try to find a really nice mature black buck and take him with a Model 7. Now this rifle is very lightweight. And these animals are small. This is not a huge target, and they're very, very fast and very tough. So again, the goal is find a good buck, put him in the salt. One shot, one kill.
black buck and he ran from us. So we're gonna loop around, get back into this canyon and uh, try to get the wind right and go after him. You know, we're in the, one of the highest elevation points out of San Antonio. We're basically on top of a knob. We've got big rolling hills. We've got big oak valleys. We've got big creek bottoms. A lot of places for these animals to hide. And so this is more of a spot and stalk. I don't see anything. I think we'll move to another hill. Yeah, look like those black bucks drifted off that edge here. Yeah, they just totally left. Yeah, let's cut down on this ridge and, and drop off this side over here and we'll go look over there and gives us another, you know, mile and a half or so to scan. Good vantage points. Yeah. Get on the top and do it again. All right, take the field. Well, it's about the end of the first day. I'm working way down in this valley. We've got a lot of cedars. There's a lot of cover here. These black buck are tiny. So we're gonna sit here the last few minutes to see if we can catch anything coming out in the open. If not, we'll give it a go again tomorrow. Black buck are tough, so we gotta make one perfect shot. We just start walking and glassing and walking and glassing. You know, the goal is to try to find these black buck out in the open where I can actually get a good shot at him, make sure he's mature. I've got a very small target. I'm shooting an extremely lightweight rifle, so I've gotta make sure I'm steady. That 708 caliber is a great caliber for black buck, but on this animal, because he's so tough, it's all about shot placement. And as Bill and I were moving along, I crept over one little hill, and I saw a couple females immediately. And I was glassing them, and I ranged them. They're 275 yards. As I moved a little bit further over the hill, here the ram was, but he hadn't seen us. He was busy looking at the females. And I started to get my sticks all set up. Then he saw the movement. He turned, and he faced straight at me. And that on that animal is not the shot you want. So I waited, did all the final adjustment on my sticks. The ewes blew out to the right, and that ram turned to watch him, but he was keeping an eye on us, and he gave me an almost broadside shot. Nice black buck ram. First looked at him, when he was turned, he did look real black. Then he turned a little bit, we got a better look at him. What do you think, Bill? I think he made a good shot. I heard that Shouldn't bullet run too far, I heard it slap against him. We'll put a pair of 10 powers on him, and Bill goes, I think I'd shoot that one. He said, he's got pretty good curls on him. Let's walk down there and get a look. Thank you, sir. Congratulations. Let's take a look here. Look at this black one. Guys, I think we chose our weapon well this week. We're in South Texas with Headhunters International. I chose a Model 7 Remington, chambered in 7mm 08, and this bullet performed flawlessly. Went in behind the front shoulder, went through, didn't exit the body, all the energy stayed in the animal. 275 yards off the sticks, one shot in the spot. Bill, thanks again. Can't wait till we see Clint. Jimmy, you better get busy. I think I'm one ahead of you there, buddy. We've got a black buck spotted over the top of this hill right here, off to another side, is where he's at. He's a big one, he's super wide, exactly what we're looking for. Let's get him to sneak up on him. So Clint and I just basically got on the ground, we started to make the stock, we were trying to move. We knew that they were feeding along and they were working in the sun line. We caught him in some shadowed trees and they started to feed through there and we were able to put the push on him and we almost got him in the gun, boom, there he went, he's gone. Guys, we had that black buck, and he saw us, and he's taking off. He didn't run away hard. 
He might very well be. He's going to go a couple hundred yards and he'll go up into this next valley like this. And we'll just sneak yeah. around again. And when we get down over there, we'll get another opportunity and see if we can jump him. The problem is there's so many animals on this property right here, you know, yeah. in this entire yeah. valley. It's like a river corridor. The half of our problem is, you know, we get seen from another animal and it bumps another one, just like in Africa. The only way I can describe this is like hunting a, uh, a blessed buck or a, um, or an impala, impala like in Africa, yeah. like it's the very yeah. same thing. A little bit animal. smaller, but yeah. man, it's a really cool animal. We knew that we didn't bump him that hard. We needed to be able to take the track and we needed to be able to follow him up. So we were working and sure enough, we look up and he hadn't even went 250, 300 yards. Yeah. Just see his horns over the yeah. top. We'll drop over this side right here, and when we come over there, it'll give us a green shot, and the wind's just in our favor, so I think it'll be all right. It's blowing in front of him. Okay. It's gonna carry everything this way, so let's get up on this edge, drop over that hill, and where you... Yeah, okay. we got it marked. And this time, we were able to get the gun down on him, and I'm sitting there realizing in this special moment that I have a black buck in my scope and the crosshairs are on him and he's standing still. Beautiful, man. Dude, we've been waiting, nice waiting, buck. waiting. We woke up this morning, we thought there's no way that we're gonna find a black buck in due the to the wind, wind and, and we've dropped literally <laughs> 25 or 30 degrees. We're in Texas, cold. and those people will tell you that it's not cold in Texas in December. <laughs> Many times without the camera, we could have killed a black buck, but we've really wanted to show you a black buck. It's one of the animals that I've been wanting to hunt for many, many years, absolutely beautiful. It's one of those species that it truly is special, and it is different. It's something you don't see every day, and we're really happy to be able to bring it here to the network for you with an AR, baby. Yeah, it was good, it was good. <laughs> The 223 doesn't leave a very big bullet hole. It may not have bled really good. Right there. There he is, Dude. brother. Sweet. There he is. Wow. Oh. <laughs> what a beautiful buck. Can you tell by the smile on my face that I am really happy to be sitting out here in Texas in December with a beautiful, beautiful black buck. It's taken us almost four days to put the cross here on one of these monsters. And this is a really very beautiful representation of the species and one that I'm really proud of. This is the black buck antelope from India. It's a, a medium sized antelope species. They're only about 65, 70 pounds. So they start out at that yellow duff tan color like that. And that's the color of a female and the female stays that way throughout her life. But the male, as he matures in the testosterone in the system and he becomes a breeder, he gets that beautiful black color to him and his black face turns black. That sequence precision worked really well with that Nikon scope on top of it with the digital laser rangefinder and obviously we were able to take a good shot on him, but that was a lot of fun. I would have got an AR a lot longer ago if I knew how much fun the gun really is to have. So Yeah, good predator guns too. Yep, really a lot of fun. Anyway, thank you very much, man. Absolutely. I really do appreciate Absolutely. being out here and spending time with you. It has been a lot of fun. The biggest predator headhunter I know, Clint. Ha, 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 ha.